Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hopefully everyone's doing well. I haven't showered, so I just woke up. Oh, I feel like naked. Anyway, so today I want to do cold brew test. Anyway, anyway yeah, yesterday I bought a cold brew jug. I tried it once. So this is the result from overnight coffee brew, cold brew. Um, it tastes great, that one. Um, so I used a different coffee for that. So I use, I think it's a local, but it's not a local coffee, is it? Well, it's something coffee. It's a non-brand one. It is a branded one. I just don't think it's famous. I don't know. If you guys are new to this channel, welcome. This is not an expert channel. I do not research anything that I do here. I just try stuff, daily stuff that I found on the soup at the supermarket in Sydney, Australia. Welcome. So I also bought these because I tried cold brew from um, Starbucks about two three days ago, and I really liked it. It tastes it has that after taste that is quite sweet and it stays on my tongue for a long time. So I thought I would give it a go and try the dark roast uh, Starbucks espresso roast. And this is a whole bean one. So what we're going to do is we're going to grind it, literally grind it. But I think. From, uh, from what I learned from yesterday's, um, my first ever cold brew test was not to grind them but to just give it a quick pulse so that it doesn't become, it doesn't become too fine. Okay, so let's open these. So this is just your regular, I bought this from the supermarket. It says made in Portugal, a hundred Arabica coffee. Oh, it smells so good. Are these are these beans still alive? Oh my god, look at that. Great. So what I've done is you can put this in a blender, but I have like this little cup. So I think that should suffice. I think it, on the internet there is this specificity that you can follow like one cup like one tablespoon of this for, per one cup water I am just gonna eyeball it and from yesterday's uh, experiment I feel like we can do this I like this packaging actually, it's quite... Okay, maybe I don't like this packaging. So you can open the packaging like that and... It stay close? I think it stay close. Does it? It doesn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm wasting time guys. I'm wasting time. I am fully aware of that. What about these? <gasps> it works! Okay, so you have to keep it airtight and blah blah blah. So let's blend this. How good is that? I never ever thought I would become a coffee connoisseur. Alright, let's grind this baby up. So it's just uh, it, my blender. I bought this from Kmart, I think. So it's pretty cheap. Um, it came with two options, this usual blender and this one. So I use this for anything outside fruits and vegetables. So this is like for meat and now I'm using it for coffee. Um, so we can try. So with this particular uh, blender, I think it only costs like $30. It's really not expensive. There is an option to grind, but I read on the internet that if you... If you use grind, you want it for 
to you know for pressing so it, it will come off really black uh, really fine so it's not the best uh option for cold brewing i made the mistake of pressing the grind button yesterday so today i will start with pulse and i think i'm gonna stick to that because we want these beans to be um a little bit um coarser and not as fine so let's go Oh, it's not. <laughs> Silly me. So. so I think that should be enough. So let's see. Okay, no, it's not really enough. There's still see. There's still a lot of beans that are. Okay, so let's try it again. The benefit of Pulse is that you can track your your fine the f okay I think that, that that's enough it's pretty coarse let's open it up so I'm pretty happy with that that still looks very rough um, it's not it doesn't look as fine as the other coffee that I blended yesterday which is what I'm after so we are going to put it into this uh, filter now um, and I'll see you afterwards. I'm cheating. Oh, I need to wash my hand. I, use, I, I need to use a spoon for these. Why am I not using a spoon? <laughs> okay guys, use a spoon. Um, it will be easier for you rather than scooping it with your finger like a <laughs> uncivilized person. <laughs> okay, so I am just going to keep scooping it with my finger until it goes all the way in. So it will create a little bit of residue at the bottom of the jar, which is fine by me. That's the whole purpose of me doing it inside the jar. And there's still little bits and pieces there, which I'm just going to put water in and then water my plants with. As you know, I don't have a life. So this filter goes into the lid and then you have to screw it in. So it's tight now and what you would do, you would just add water to this. So this one is about, uh, so this one I paid $12 for. Uh, if you buy this at T2, which is a, a, a tea where, like, it's a tea shop in Sydney or in Australia anyway, or Asia Pacific. This is just cold water. This is room temperature water. It costs about $60 to get one of these jugs. So I just bought it from Kmart because it's $12. Um, I can buy five of these mug for, <laughs> for $60. So I'm like, yeah. Always do your research. I, I, I don't always get it right, guys. Sometimes I buy something overpriced and I kick myself in the gut afterwards. But, you know, don't blame yourself too much. So this one is going to go into the fridge. And we are going to wait until tomorrow to figure out whether the taste is good. So this is... Uh, this is I'll see you tomorrow.
everyone how is everyone doing today so this is the next day and our cold brew is ready to go so let's have a first taste this is for me actually to remind myself what i made so this is the starbucks espresso rose dark rose beans that i grinded yesterday for you it's in one video for me it was yesterday so i have to remind myself of what it is okay ready to go here yeah. yeah it tastes exactly like you know what like the ones that they sell at the shops the starbucks shops the cold brew starbucks shops this tastes like that it has that aftertaste sweetness when first it was touched by your tongue it is so a little bit bitter but when it settles and then you you swallow the first gulp what's left is sweetness you know what I love about this Starbucks um, at home products? The fact that they actually taste like Starbucks, the one that you buy at the shop, so you don't get disappointed. Although it is made by Nestle, Nestle as, as a commentator said, why can't they find this in the, in the US? Because it's made by Nestle. But it's not, but it's very much the same, like the one that I bought in Starbucks Australia. So there you go, guys. That's how I brew my Starbucks at home. So what happened with these is, you get to store this. So the test test is done. Now what I'm going to do is going to store this. I think you can actually store this in this picture alone. Basically, you can take this out, take the filter out like that, and then and then you just screw the lid in like that. And it becomes a pitcher and then you can just open it half like that and then pour as necessary so it functioned as a brewer and also a pitcher on its own so that's pretty cool and yeah so this is $12 from Kmart I'll put a link down below if you're in Australia that is um, if you're in Australia, you know, like we have this tea shop called T2. This kind of picture costs sixty dollars over there, and I'm like, no, I'm not gonna buy sixty dollars for a bloody picture. So I was like, okay, let me just research it a little bit further, and I found like Kmart ones is similar as twelve dollars. So I walked from Dimex in the city around Town Hall KVB area all the way down to Gleep um, to Kmart in Broadway. <laughs> to get this $12 one <laughs> hey I'm cheap and we're in a recession right now even though I still want my you know my fancy Starbucks coffee I'm not paying $60 okay $12 yes I love anyway I'll see you guys later bye everyone <laughs>